time she's back in the country. Early morning at Heathrow Airport, and the plane carrying Julian Gibbons lands safely. The 54-year-old primary teacher from Liverpool had spent eight days in custody for insulting Islam before eventually being pardoned. Her release came after British Muslim peers Lord Ahmed and Baroness Warsi flew out of Sudan and met with President Omar al-Bashir. It was a tired but happy Gillian Gibbons who faced the press. Okay, right, I'm very glad to be back and I'm a little shocked about all the media attention that I've been getting. I'm looking forward to seeing my family and friends and having a good rest. Um, and I'm hoping that you'll give me space in order to do that. It has been an ordeal, but I'd like you to know that I was well treated in prison and everybody was very kind to me. I was very sorry to leave Sudan. I had a fabulous time there. It's a really lovely place and I managed to see some of the beautiful countryside while I was there. The Sudanese people I found to be extremely kind and extremely generous and until this happened to me I only had a good experience. I wouldn't like it to put anybody off going to Sudan. Um, in fact I know of a lovely school that needs a new UTA2 teacher. I would like to thank all the people who have worked so hard to secure my release or make my time in prison more bearable. In particular, I'd like to thank Lord Ahmed and Baroness Vazi who came to um, rescue me, the ambassador and his staff in Khartoum who were absolutely fantastic and I couldn't, couldn't have got through the ordeal without their support. I'd like to also thank the British Consul in Dubai who smoothed our progress through the airport. Um, my school, called Unity High School, the support I've received there from them is legendary and I'm going to miss my class and my colleagues enormously. She was asked about her feelings when she was first charged. Well, I was very upset to, to think that I might have caused offence to people. Um, very, very upset about it. Could anyone ever imagine that this would happen? I'm just, I'm just an ordinary middle-aged primary school teacher. Yeah, I went out there to have a bit of an adventure and got a bit more of an adventure than I bargained for. I don't think anyone could have imagined that it could have snowballed like this. A final pose with her children, John and Jessica, before returning home to Liverpool. A relieved Gillian Gibbons says she now wants to continue with teaching and will now start looking for a new job.